Hi friends, good morning. Please let us take up the next problem. See, A alone can do a work in 10 days, whereas B alone can do it in 12 days. If they work on alternate days, if they work on alternate days, starting with A, in how many days the total work can be completed? Friends, alternate days means first day A comes, second day B comes. Again, third day A comes, fourth day B comes and so on. See, let us say the total work, the total work is the LCM of these two numbers that is 60 units, 60 units say. Then A can do, A can do 10 sixes 60. So A can do 6 units of work per day. A can do 6 units of work per day. Whereas B can do 12 fives or 60. So B can do 5 units of work per day. So first day A comes, second day B comes. First day A comes and do 6 units of work and second day B comes and he completes, he does 5 units of work. So in every 2 days, in every 2 days, 6 plus 5, 11 units of work will be completed. 11 units of work will be completed. So in 5 twos, 10 days, in 5 twos, 10 days, 5 elevens, 5 elevens, 55 units of work will be completed. 55 units of work will be completed. And remaining work, and remaining work is equal to 60 minus 55, 5 units, 5 units. And the 11th day, and the 11th day, A comes to the work. What is the capacity of A? A can do 6 units of work in one day. A can do 6 units of work in one day. So the remaining work is only 5 units. So he can do the, so A capacity 6 units, 6 units in one day. This is the capacity of A. Only 5 units of work is remaining. So this 5 units of work can be done by A in 5 by 6 day. So the total, the total time taken is 10 days plus 5 by 6. 10 5 by 6 days the total work will be completed. Okay friends, thank you. Have a nice day.